Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Calling us deeper, 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 deeper. It's calling us deeper, 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 deeper. It's calling me. Koinonia is not the name of a program. Please listen. The word koinonia is, is the name given to the experience that God delivers unto us here. We found different ways to express this. And the best theme that God gave us was koinonia. So don't get used to Koinonia being the name of a program. I'm coming for Koinonia as a program. I need you to know that Koinonia is an experience. This is why every time we talk about Koinonia, we tell you experience. Experience it. It's a real solid experience. When you experience Koinonia, you do not need to tell people. They will know that you met the Lord and you are walking with him hallelujah praise the lord koinonia means intimacy and partnership with the holy spirit and i told us how that it is important to understand these things are complementary but they are not the same hallelujah our goal in this place is to bring people to a place of intimacy with the holy spirit to help us understand the structure and the operation of the kingdom of heaven jesus left only one message with the body of christ the gospel of the kingdom hallelujah the entire bible from genesis to revelation is an attempt to convey the story and the message of a kingdom and no matter what we become if we do not understand the system of god's kingdom and how it operates my passion in life aside from helping men experience the reality of the Holy Spirit, is to bring them into a comprehension of the structure, the operation, and the principles of the kingdom. This is what we do week in, week out. Hallelujah. There is a culture we are initiating you into. There is a way of life. There is a pattern. There is an understanding. There is a mindset that you are receiving and our success as far as this prophetic assignment is concerned 
for this season is only realized if you are actually becoming what we are praying and laboring that you become is that true hallelujah for as long as we have crowds and people keep clapping people keep falling down getting up getting messages traveling around and the messages keep spreading that is great but are you being changed are you becoming this this epistle that we are trying to carve and chisel praise the lord i told you that this is a school there is a long curriculum of the spirit and week in week out we keep examining different aspects of the kingdom so that we can come into a comprehension it's not just for you to have rema and to say oh every time you stand give me this mountain there's a message like that no no or commanding result or any of these great messages you love the goal is that you become an expression of this thing hallelujah such that wherever you go you become an envoy hallelujah grace is granted unto you to begin to reproduce the things that you have learned acts chapter 1 said i write these things to you O excellent theophilus of all that jesus began to do and teach not just teach do and teach hallelujah i have spent my life helping the body of christ to understand that the kingdom of god is not a religious organization the kingdom of God is a system. Everybody says a system. Made up of a definite structure. And when you understand the structure, the operation, and the patterns of the kingdom, then you will be able to be a worthy ambassador. God will now be able to empower you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please get this. I, I, want, you to, I want to burn it into your spirit I want you to understand that this is what we are doing so that you can align yourself and you can have a reference from which to gauge your spiritual progress is that true if you look at where in november right now if you look at yourself from january till now how many principles of the kingdom do you know and understand that you can apply consistently to deliver results if all you have done is to attend the meetings very faithfully but you have not come into a comprehension a knowing a recognition and understanding of this thing that we seek to teach then our hearts are not fulfilled hallelujah it's very difficult for believers in the body of christ to sit down and learn and understand the principles of the kingdom we prefer to receive we prefer pray for me lay hands on me cast the devil out of me do this and that you know prophesy breakthrough and do all of that and that is wonderful that's why we spend the last week of every month to minister to god's people because it's part of what we are anointed for but i needed to understand that our pride and our satisfaction it's not that you honor the meetings every Friday so that we do not come and preach to empty chairs, but that you are being transformed. You are being transformed in a way that we are seeing. Hallelujah. That's why every time I have the opportunity to bless my sweetheart, the dear lady, I love her so much because I have seen as little as this lady is. This lady has had encounters with Jesus she has had encounters with different kinds of people as little as this girl is she would be in the midst of people who are maybe playing some ungodly songs and she will confront them and say jesus doesn't like this this is this is a mindset are you getting my point so there is a training and because her mind is innocent she's not received any junk from the past so the work of her own right now is not renewing the mind her own is building and transformation are you getting me there's there's nothing that has corrupted and and spoiled the spiritual genes of her mind so it's easy for the holy spirit to be able to walk this lady will grow with this ideology are you getting me now and when 
she gets to certain levels you will see how mighty god will use her to her she's just playing she's a little girl she's just a lady who is passionate about jesus she has come to know jesus as a person she has come to honor the things of the lord there's one other little baby a prayer band baby every time i have the opportunity to come and pray with the prayer band when you come very tiny girl you just see great people praying and sweating and you see one very tiny girl also following them whenever people lift their hands you watch what they are doing and lift her hands too we call this a programming it's a mindset hallelujah if she works consistently under that atmosphere that mindset will become a stronghold in her and no devil will take it away are you getting my point a stronghold is not a demonic word stronghold is whatever has held your mind captive so that you become its victim and if that becomes the word of god and the operation of the kingdom then you will begin to reflect christ by default hallelujah are you understanding me now so as as we seek to teach it's important you understand that we are not just displaying new revelations or attempting to tell you to see the progress we are making spiritually no no we are trying to unveil to open you up to the structure and the dimensions just like you come into a school system you come naive and a lecturer keeps teaching you and building you is that true curriculum course after course a time can come when you can turn back and say kite to an extent i understand what i'm studying how many of you don't lift your hands can turn back and say after years and years of sitting under the word i understand to an extent to the level to which light has been opened unto me i understand there are many of us that have failed to to discipline our spirits to come into a comprehension of this truth and can i tell you something when you stay in the presence of god you never go back neutral you go back broken or you go back hardened one of these two must happen to you are you getting me it becomes dangerous when you are used to the atmosphere of god's presence because you will have that form of religion so every time they raise the structure you know it is that true every time they are talking about giving you say ah, i can't even list the scripture but the bible says ever learning but never coming into the knowledge of the truth and that becomes a dangerous thing have you seen people that every time you try to correct them you can see somebody smoking you try to talk to him and see how he will bombard you with scriptures he will tell you my reverend baptized me even me and my reverend we drank the same beer blah 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 this and that happened and he will try to justify it is that true and he will tell you the bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god and he believes that you are supposed to be convinced an ideology hallelujah we seek to transfer a mindset are you receiving that mindset is it becoming real in your life because the world will test your conviction about these things we are teaching you is that true you will find people everywhere this conviction will be tested in your relationship and marriage this conviction will be tested in your academics this conviction will be tested in your personal life this conviction will be tested in your job your business your ministry whatever endeavor it's not enough just to know the word of god you must submit to the authority of that word he said submit yourself under the mighty hand of god it is only on that condition that you can resist the devil and he will flee please are you learning something so if after all of the teachings that we have been teaching and teaching and teaching and let me use let me use one lady come hallelujah if we have been teaching on the structure of the kingdom look at me and this lady carries herself alive and goes to chain herself in a very bad and ungodly relationship what what does that tell you it tells you that this ideology has not become spirit and life to her is that true is that true are you following me now if this lady wants to get married right now 
if she has been listening to the truths that we have been teaching she will now use them as the template the platform that informs whatever decision she's making is that true do you understand so based on that now god can give us a thumbs up because we're not just doing religion somebody is receiving this truth believing it enough to be convicted whether you are supervised or not it has become your way of life hallelujah so an unbeliever can come to my sister right now and say see let's go to a party i have money is it no money you are looking for and the lady can tell him um i appreciate your interest in me but i need you to understand that i belong to a kingdom and in that kingdom we have values are you getting me and it is not within the jurisdiction of that kingdom. Many of you are saying, I beg, Jare, they'll be social. Just go, will you die? This is what we are saying. You are not convinced enough. That's why you are ashamed of it. Anything you are ashamed of has not become a solid revelation to you. Is that true? So is this word becoming spirit and light? Have you been applying it? Did you apply it last week? Did it work for you? Hallelujah. If somebody looks at my sister right now and says, you're a very stupid girl and maybe three years ago she would just remove her shoe while he's talking and use the heel of the shoe and wipe the guy's face and say, this is how stupid people behave. You see, that, that would have been the way she would behave. But right now, there is a value system you are higher than this person in understanding. There is a fellowship you have come into that grants you access to behave like Jesus Christ. And based on that understanding, the truth is you are human, so you'll be angry. But a scripture from the treasury of the deposits you have made in your spirit, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. That scripture now ministers to you at that point. And you can look at the person and just say God bless you and the person is wondering hallelujah or that you see another brother who is just broke and suffering but you know this guy's destiny is going to change it's just that it won't change immediately the world is working and they send some money for you and you remember that the Bible says be good to all men especially to they that are of the household of faith and you have submitted to that word and based on that revelation without supervision you must not come and give a testimony and say i have this brother this is to let you know that i am making progress i'm applying what i'm being taught no not necessarily but that you can come to this brother and say my brother i decided to buy you one tier of rice one tier of beans, one tier of gari. Let it help you. I know the word of God is working. And by grace, I've been privileged to receive some supply and I'm helping you with it. Listen, brothers and sisters, if people see you and they do not see the difference between you and them, you are not a real Christian. And that difference is not tongues. That difference is not revelation. That difference is a culture. It's an, it's an atmosphere. Is a lifestyle, is a walking. You have become so solid. When you joke, you joke the word. When you talk, you talk the word. Whatever it is, even when no matter how boring you sound, you have no option. You are being reprogrammed and you cannot undo it. This is what you must become. Some of you still use all kinds of bad languages. You have sat down here for over two years, you didn't delete them. You only created a folder for them. And when opportunity, because said, in this Nigeria, you need these folders. When there is need, you dust it and bring it out and keep people where they belong. No. Hallelujah. There are many of you who do not read your Bibles and you have never tried to. There is nothing wrong when you have a spiritual predicament. The problem is if you do not even know it is a problem and you are doing it and you are not making any efforts about it. Hallelujah. So are you following what I'm saying? If after all of these meetings now and then this lady comes, she has two boyfriends somewhere. One is to supply to bring supply beginning of the month 
this one, the middle of the month, then the real one that she's going to marry, that she uses their money to help and support. And she says, wisdom, even God. You see, see, look, look at me. Listen, listen, please. I'm not laughing. Listen. Let me tell you something. If you truly want to be a Christian, be a Christian. Are you getting my point? If you think you are going to play pranks and tricks, I want to tell you something. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Is that in your Bible? It said, God cannot be mocked. That means if, if you don't receive the recompense of that mindset, you have mocked God. And the Bible says, God cannot be mocked. Praise the Lord. Some of you have been giving bad advices to friends. Every time there is a need to do something bad, you are the one they consult. Bible study, they don't consult you. Prayer, they don't consult you. Should we go for night vigil or not? They don't even meet you. But when there is trouble and you want to corner something, they say, go and meet this person. They will arrange everything for you. There are some of you, you are like that. The way they look at you, you just look like a crook. When they want to do anything shady, they just say, oh yeah, come. Tell that guy he's five. You say, oh yeah, I know how to do it. See, you must, you must change and let people, the Bible says, let your light so shine, not before angels, before men, that they may see. The Bible wants men to see. So are you being changed? Is your mindset being changed? There are some of you that are nursing a lot of unforgiveness and bitterness against your loved ones. In spite of the teaching, we have shouted teaching on rapture, we taught on air time. What do you want us to say again to change your mind? Hallelujah. Some of you, even if we say Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow, you won't change. You say me. When, when Jesus comes, we will settle this issue. Whereas you know that that thing is just a cultural belief. When Jesus comes, he doesn't have time to waste on frivolities. You are going to hell or you are going to heaven. Full stop. Hallelujah. Are you being changed? That when they are doing malpractice somewhere, you know that you know how much you will do this malpractice and how it can help you. But you are constrained by your love for God. And you say, I'd rather fail honorably than do this malpractice. I know that there are many of us, you are looking at me, you are just saying, just keep talking, finish sharing the grace, let's get out of here. I know what I will believe and I know what I will not believe. Hallelujah. So if the word of God is not changing you, such that unbelievers can begin to testify that there is really something about your life. A guy just walks into your room, wants to sleep with you and says, I don't like it. What is the meaning of that? Oh, I don't do this. Oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't like things like this. You know, the, the way I am. See, I don't want to be pregnant. Is that the reason why you are afraid? Or there is more? Praise the Lord. You sit down and you watch a film, a pornographic film. You say, I'm an adult. Please, don't, nobody should make me a child. And you finish watching that film and you cannot look at the ladies around you and go in peace. You are now praying, fasting, saying, oh God, help the time you would have been using, building in your spiritual life. You just scattered the foundation and you have to start again. Praise the Lord. There are some of us who are together and you see a lot of friends. They come with their car, whether they are father's car or whoever. And they say, ah, bros, are you going? They are calling you bros. And they are calling you to go and do something that is not of the kingdom. And the pressure is mounting on you. They are saying, hi, you now. Wow. And the thing is pinching you. They are saying, okay, but I will come. I won't drink. I won't smoke. Can't you say no? The Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Teaching us to say no. Are you convinced that this word can make you a leader and it can make you a great person? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we are achieving this, then I know that we are making progress. But if we are not achieving this, 
then sincerely speaking before men ministry may be moving but before God there is little effect that is is being created hallelujah let your conviction about spiritual things be strong I love the lady that said they brought somebody that was dead or dying and she laid she laid hands on the person some of you will join in the shout hey, hey at least try if you try and it doesn't work no problem but let it be that among the 12 people who were lamenting you took a step and it didn't work no problem god will honor you for launching out to take that step some of you when you want to pray they tell you please so oh, this is not the issue of prayer because you have not been doing it when did you suddenly become a man of God? It has not been your lifestyle. You talk the way they talk. You do everything. Suddenly, you remember one koinonia message. You drank with them yesterday. Now you want to lay hands and they say, for what? I'd rather lay hands than you. We drank together. Be different. Be different. So different that you are noted for certain things about the kingdom. And when there is a need to do certain things as far as the kingdom of God is concerned, you become the reference point. This is transformation. And this is what this teaching is all about. And then at that point, God will empower you to demonstrate the reality of that kingdom. You will manifest wisdom that is beyond the comprehension of men. God will bless you. Every time people see you, they know you are a leader. You must not have PAs and people following you. No. There is a culture. There is a way of behavior. They are sharing food. Somebody gets, somebody is very hungry. And you are not so hungry. And that's the last meal. And the Holy Spirit says, give the person. And you are looking. And I say, no, I'm not giving any. I came, I got my, you know, all these kinds of things. Bless you. While you are seated, you are going to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I don't want to waste my time. I truly want to see transformation in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I do not just want to waste my time listening to Rema upon Rema, learning, learning all the cliches, learning all the powerful words, learning all the vocabularies, creating a form of religion without a sincere passion there are many of us who attend at least three or four programs every week but the fruit of the transformation is not evident in our lives we still talk the way we used to talk we still behave the way we still behave there is nothing that shows that there is a culture of the kingdom working in us Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, oh, and words in power. ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words in one more time. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Open hearts, oh let the ancient words be Change me. This is always my prayer.
prayer, koinonia is about change. The symbol of koinonia in a man's life is change, transformation. 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 Let there be change. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach tonight briefly and then we'll pray. And voice of his presence. And voice of his presence. Praise the bread of life. Emmanuel. God with us. The one who saves. Praise the cup of life that glorious spring that washes our sins away and voice of his presence Matthew 5 help us spirit of the living God He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. You're the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Age. And voice of his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All through scripture, we see that God's idea of the church or the believer has been to create an envoy that will communicate certain things that are in the mind of the spirit to the human race for every season hallelujah an envoy is is the highest governmental representative it's a governmental representative that is sent on behalf of a government on a mission an assignment hallelujah if we need to send certain people one of our brothers is getting married tomorrow and we're sending a few people they are envoys hallelujah whatever we stand to represent is what we want to see them promote there if we have a gift for the couple what happens we give them the gift and we trust them with that gift hallelujah with an assignment to go and deliver that gift hallelujah and there are certain people that God has anointed to be envoys of his presence. Carriers, distributors to infect territories with the presence of God. The power, the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to explore that understanding. Say after me, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an envoy a representative i'm an ambassador mean it from your heart say i am an envoy hallelujah matthew 5 jesus himself taught us this in chapter 5 from verse 13 he said ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its savour, with what shall it be salted he said it is thereafter good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ready? 14. One to read. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. He said, I am sending you as an envoy into a system 
that is characterized by darkness. Darkness in scripture talks of confusion, talks of death, talks of sin. Whatever does not have the charisma of God in it is darkness. And the Bible says, ye are the light. It didn't say you have the light. It said you are the light. Hallelujah. You are a city that is set, not like a city. You are a city. You are being elevated upon a hill. He said you cannot be hidden. A Christian, a walking Christian, is not just one who has given his life to Jesus Christ. It's not just one who prays in tongues. It's not just one who is in ministry. It's not just one who avoids sin. Great. All of these things are great. It's not even just ones who have rema. No, a Christian is one who has taken the mandate of the kingdom as a personal responsibility. He has come into the understanding that he's not just a son, he's not just a servant, he is an envoy. He has come into a place of kingdom responsibility. That not only have we received of God, but we have been mandated to deliver something. Hallelujah. Envoys of his presence. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible says, we beheld his glory as of the one of the only begotten. The Bible says he was full of grace and truth. And everywhere he went, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost is that true and with power and he went about doing what he was an envoy of the goodness of God because God was with him he carried the divine presence of God and he demonstrated the reality of that divine presence he had a culture the bible says every time he taught men were astonished they said what wisdom is this what authority is this we have not seen this in this fashion hallelujah when jesus walked to you and you were sick there will be a dramatic demonstration of the revelation of the kingdom he went to bethesda and saw a man who had lain there 38 years the bible says he looked at him and he said, uh, what did he even tell him? What was the question again? He said, do you want that I'll make you whole? And he said, there is no man that would help me. As soon as I want to move to the, to the, to the, to the waters, somebody else will jump into it. And listen, look at an envoy. He said, no problem. In other words, all this you're grumbling is not necessary. I have come, cheer up. He said, pick up your bed and go. One minute. A problem of 38 years dissolved in one minute. That is the character of an envoy. He steps into a place and begins to legislate on me. No grammar, no long story, the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Charles and Francis Hunter of blessed memory. Great men and women of God. One time they had so much of the presence of God upon them. They entered a meeting and there were people on wheelchairs and they start. They, they didn't even tell any story. No prayer, no nothing. They brought an atmosphere and a culture and they demonstrated this flawlessly. 100 people, they lifted them out of the wheelchair. 100. Envoys of his presence. Hallelujah. When Naaman was afflicted, the Bible tells us in 2 Kings chapter 5 that Naaman was the captain of, 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 of Syria. He was a great and mighty man. The Bible says, but he was leprous. And on account of his leprosy, when they came and fought the nation of Israel, the Bible says they took a little slave girl. Is that true? And in the passage of time, there was one strange envoy who was a seer who does not just go out anyhow. The Bible called him Elisha. Hallelujah. And the little girl told the captain, he said, oh, that you would just follow me. There is somebody I know who can help you. And the man sluggishly said, are you serious? You don't know my situation. Hallelujah. And cut the long story short, they met the king. And listen, when the king was afraid, 
Nobody told Elisha that the man, Elisha was watching like a television from his room. And he said, quickly, tell the king, why is your heart casted? Let him come and know that there is an envoy, that there is a prophet. This land is not barren. There are ambassadors who are alive and strong who will not let the powers of darkness lord it over people. God did not leave himself across this territory without a witness. He said, send him to come. And when he came, Elijah did not even go out. He sent Gehazi. He said, go and tell him it's a simple case. Go and watch seven times and go back free. Ah, that simple, an envoy is speaking. There is a backing behind him. Hallelujah. One time there was scarcity and Jesus, listen, Jesus was trying to teach the disciples the mindset of being envoys. And when the people had not eaten, Jesus looked at the disciples. He said, go and give them food. Come on now, Jesus. Ah, the disciples said, no, this is not part of our ministry. Our ministry here is to help you. Don't disgrace us here. There is no food. These people are plenty. Jesus was teaching them something. He said, every time you see people think of dispensing, don't just think of receiving. You are an envoy. Wherever you go, go as light. Study the terrain of darkness and solve the problem. Don't join in the sympathy. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? That you are an envoy of his presence. God has mandated you with an unction with an anointing your rema will not help the world until there is a demonstration of the practical reality of the fact that god lives in a man and the apostle calls it the mystery of godliness that god can dwell in a man such that you see an ordinary man but he's not just ordinary he's carrying a backing that this earth cannot speak the man tells you you are blessed and all the forces of nature align themselves and make that word come to pass that's an envoy hallelujah there are many of our homes listen to me that are under demonic yokes there are many of our family members that if no one arises to help them they will die you are that envoy God seeks envoys that he will send to different territories. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I've had the privilege of counseling people week after week. And oh, what joy fills my heart. The moment the people begin to come one by one, I am conscious of the fact that I am an envoy. And you see them coming and crying. Oh man of God, the devil has oppressed us. And I tell them, cheer up. I don't tell them, cheer up as stories. I don't tell them, cheer up as many men of God. Just comfort people without result. They say, don't worry. Uh, our Lord and God, no envoy. There is nothing that shows that you are an envoy. Darkness comes and the person goes back with that darkness. We must contend for levels where if men meet you just once, they will know they met an ambassador. Don't get emotional about this message and not do anything about it. Hallelujah. The family came to me for counseling. One of their sons had given the family a very big problem. And when they came, I told them, I said, it's okay, this is the devil here. Hallelujah. In less than one minute, the devil is casted out. I prophesy blessings to the family. It was not up to two days their father bought a new car, an envoy. This is not trial and error. You have become a portal for heaven to find expression at every given time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that there is a dimension of kingdom assignment? That has been committed unto you to be a demonstrator of the presence the reality the culture the life of the kingdom i vowed to god and i cried years ago and i still cried i said lord i don't want to be those many preachers with rema 
that cannot be defended. As a student, before you graduate, there's something called defense. All the stories you have been talking, you are going to stand and say it before people that matter. Is that true? They are going to give you a topic that you think validates you for graduation. Oh, Jesus is this, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He can do this, he can do that. And they bring somebody oppressed and you're just looking and wondering. This is why we teach you these things. So that you'll be equipped. Oh, I've had testimonies of many of our people and I've been so blessed. The destruction they are doing to the kingdom of darkness in their spheres. Some of them just went home. They had been waiting. This strike, as bad as it is, has given an opportunity for some people to arrange Satan in their family once and for all. They went home as envoys. Hallelujah. The koinonia teachings that we send by the Spirit of God, they go as envoys of power. Envoys of the presence of God. That's why a lot of people have been touched that we may never see. While we are sleeping, the Bible says, Abel, though dead, yet speak it. For as long as the jurisdiction of our Christianity is just to receive, get blessed, find a life partner, be very happy, get breakthrough, we will never be relevant as far as the advancement of God's kingdom is concerned. Are you listening to me? Unfortunately, this is what the congregation of the Nigerian church is predominantly made of. People who come to God with numerous problems, God solves the problem and they don't want any kingdom responsibility again. All they want is to sit down and let a great man of God keep displaying the anointing, keep doing everything and the people keep sitting there. Are you going to church? Yes, I'm going to church. You go. No. See, listen, brothers and sisters, no matter how much we love people, not everybody in this city is going to be able to come here. Are you getting me? Is that true? No matter how we love people, there are many people. Sometimes people send us messages and say, I wish, I wish that Koinonia will come and have a program or will have a program somewhere. And I tell them, who gave you our number? And they now say, oh, a brother somewhere. I say, go and tell that person to pray for you. Hallelujah. Take the step and fail honorably. God will bless you. If you are ashamed and embarrassed because of your ego, forget about being a champion in the kingdom. Many of you, this is what is stopping us. Hallelujah. My own blood sister did not have a job for a long time. I knew that this thing was demonic. I just have not been home for a very long time. And when I was going home, I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and I prayed with her. I told her, I said, she was trying to give me explanation. I said, don't worry. The explanations are not necessary. Believe me, I know what the problem is. And I prayed for her and that was the end of it. Praise the Lord. She got a job in Benway State. When can you look at somebody, a barren woman, and say, madam, you are trying to come for Koinonia. They are not around, but they have been teaching us this thing. And madam, will you allow me to pray? She will look at you and say, please, I want Josh. Please, I know what, I'm, I'm serious about this child. I'm not playing here. Don't come and play with my womb. No, you say, madam, just allow me to pray. And you stand and say, Lord, you are real. And I want you to demonstrate the reality of your kingdom. Some of you say, what if she doesn't give birth? Did you collect money? Did you collect money? You get into trouble if you collected money. Did you collect money? It's just say, Madam, let me pray for you. And some of you, for the first time, as you lay hands on the people, suddenly you will see a demonstration of the kingdom. And the person comes back and says, I have not slept in one week. That simple word you said, be healed. I have been sleeping like a baby. And then you know that the kingdom has come in that environment. This has nothing to do with MOG. Are you getting my point? It should be your default life. Do you believe what I'm saying? Look at your loved ones. Brothers and sisters, please look at me. There are some of you in your families, there is nobody who is born again. Be honest with me, is that true? You are the first person God brought out. Who do you think will go and change them? Somebody else? 
there are many of you there are forces of witchcraft i went for a program and when they finished the program uh, some people just ran to me while i was counseling and they told me that their mother just broke her leg immediately the mother broke the leg some of the neighbors they said oh yeah get chicken get chicken quick i said what is chicken having to do with this broken leg they said if you want this leg to heal get chicken quick i remember one time my mother hit um, i think she I, I don't know what happened she hit a uh, is it a goat or something and people hey stop say she look for one error she must look for one error or something and put in the mouth of the of the the the, the bed or the goat or whatever say if you don't do it ha a time came they came to dig a well in our house they said sir we are finished we need chicken there's a way we do it for water to come out you are the envoy that will stop that nonsense in your territory a bishop in this country a bishop in this country baths his children with blood before giving them out for marriage and one of his daughters called me one time and said this thing happened to my elder sister i know what is happening in their house now the lady cannot give birth what is all these things and they want to do it bishop And the man told her, you better come. This thing has been like that. That there are some people that are doing traditional Christianity. I hope you are. You, you, they, are, they are born again. But enter their room. There's one ancient arrow that they gave them. And one jazz that they put in the bow. And some candles. Eh? And some ropes. They don't use them. But they have kept them. When the going gets tough. The tough gets going. They know how to go and pull it out many families have not totally divorced themselves from a lot of cultural things there are still all kinds of witchcraft festivals and cultural activities that happen in our homes people are happy they are comfortable all kinds of devilish sacrifices are given you are that envoy that god is raising listen until your, your Christianity begins to confront the gates of hell, you are still joking. If your Christianity has not yet begun to pose a threat to the gate of hell, then you are still playing. There are some of us ladies here, nobody in your family gets married. Will you not be the first person to say, not only will I break that, I will break it first from my life and go back and release everyone that belongs to me from that captivity some of us is the cause of poverty right from wherever it has come to, even if you get job in presidency you won't be able to buy a bicycle why you will not explain because there are all kinds of yokes hallelujah and God is empowering you and sending you everywhere the Lord grants me the opportunity to go and minister Every time it's time for the ministration, I just begin to feel happy for that ministry and that territory because I am coming as an envoy. I know that there is a government that backs me and they that with me are mighty and strong. Everywhere, the Bible says he went, he was doing good. Have you been doing good? Please listen to me and take it seriously. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill. Say, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an ambassador. I have a mandate to take the presence, the culture, and the life of heaven to every sphere of influence. If you are not doing this, then you are not advancing the kingdom. Now look at me. I want to show you a very big key and then we'll pray. There are some of you that may say, Sir, but sincerely, I have been taking steps. It's just that it has not been working. How many of you belong to that category? Tell the truth. You have been taking steps. Don't raise your hand if you have not taken any step. I took a step. I was bold. I made an audacious statement at home. I had to go back and cover my head with blankets. Don't be ashamed. How many of us are in that category? You've taken steps. At least you've said something, you prayed for somebody, nothing happened. But at least you did something. Let me see your hands. 
Listen to what I'm about to show you because you will be very surprised. I want to activate something right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. Please look up. It's one thing to know that you are an envoy of the kingdom. It's another thing to understand the keys that govern the release of God's presence and God's power. I have seen anointed men of God get frustrated when it comes to the point of demonstrating what they teach. When it comes to Bible studies, when it comes to sharing the word, talk is cheap. But when it comes to walking in the reality and bringing men into that experience, this is where a lot of people become powerless. Why is this so? Because if the kingdom of God is all about sharing and teaching, there are some of us right now, there is even no need to be pursuing again because honestly God has opened our eyes to deep things. But there is nothing as frustrating as talking without authority to work in present tense consistently and continually. You come and say, every power in this place, we are going to pray. There are demons keeping people down and you are going to be released. And then at the end of it, you say, all right, I, I hope that this message blessed you. I hope you were motivated and challenged. And the sister said, ah, what about the oppression? You have been making me rejoice. Hallelujah. Or the man of God sees somebody on wheelchair and just dodges as if he didn't see the person. He say, yes, what did you even say is your problem? He say, my own is headache. He say, come, power. Brother, we must contend. Listen, we have not all arrived there, but there should be a, a passion in our heart that we will not stop until we get there. Can I tell you something? One demonstration of the reality of the kingdom will solve 20 or millions of talk. There, there are too much talkatives in the body. Habalists don't talk too much. They demonstrate. Is that true? A priest can be in a city. He cannot even speak very well. Yet the ripple effect of his influence and his presence is being felt. You do anything without inviting him, you will fail woefully. And then the failure will make you to come and visit him. And you say, it's not done this way. With this little lesson, let it be known to you that I may be in this coven, but I'm more influential than your community leaders many of us are looking for pulpit for people to feel the effect Jesus did not have a pulpit Stephen did not have a pulpit they had presence everybody say presence you don't need a pulpit to let people see the power and the glory of God you don't need a ministry a title what you need is an undeniable presence that principalities and powers must submit to I don't know if the woman is in this place but just permit me to share a bit of the testimony a woman came to me for counseling and I was surprised I've heard about this but I've never seen it one on one hallelujah a woman who came for counseling who gave birth to a baby it was a still birth but the baby came out with the face of a monkey and the body of a human being Welcome to planet earth where everything is possible. Why is it possible? Because there is God, there is Satan. Both are real and are walking. You are the only one who is left. You are not walking. Where that kind of evil can happen, that a spirit can create an imprint of itself and it will materialize in this realm. Where are the envoys? Where are the envoys that are represented across families? The Bible says... That in, in, Psalm, in Psalm 82, it was a summoning. God was summoning the mighty men. He said, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. He had to call them and say, what is going on? He said, you have allowed the earth. You know not, neither do they understand. He says, so they grope in darkness. The earth is out of course. Where are the people who are supposed to bring order to the earth? He said, have I not said, ye are gods? And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like men and fall like one of these princes. 
Where are the envoys? Some of you are only benefiting, getting blessed. The devil comes in, you open the door, he enters our families, wreck the lives of people, and we are just watching. Can't you pray? Where is your prayer language? Where is the grace to lock yourself and say, There is an envoy in this house. There is an envoy. The devil is trying to put your family under some kinds of things give yourself three days prayer and fasting and tell yourself you are contending to release certain things but we have a bunch of lazy Christians who all they want is their personal comfort three days, ah Josh if it was 6 to 12 I can manage everybody say I'm an envoy say it one more time I'm an envoy Listen, how many members in your family do you want to see the devil finish them before you know God is speaking to you? I'm talking to someone here. How many people in your community are you not seeing the handwriting of Satan everywhere? What are you doing about it? There are families that don't tithe and they are dying and envoy. Have you ever gone to tell them, listen, the reason why this thing is not working is you are violating certain principles of the kingdom. If you tell them and they refuse, no problem. The Bible says, how shall they hear until someone be sent, until there is a preacher? Praise the Lord. I refuse to allow the devil have a field day in my family. Hallelujah. These horns that are judging the lives of people, judging destinies. That's why it gives me pleasure to pray for people. I can pray and minister to people with all my heart from morning till night. Because this is what we are anointed for. We are not just anointed to wear suits. We are anointed to do the works of the kingdom. And can I tell you something? This is the mandate of everybody here. To dislodge the gates of hell. I went home and my younger sister was telling me, she said, I've not slept for days. I said, I, I, what is all this one with my younger sister? And I prayed for her. I gave her communion to go and take. She said as soon as she took that communion, she slept in a way she has not slept in a long time. I said, this is a signature to principalities and powers he's in Joss. Trace him with a spiritual GPS, he has come to Joss. That means the powers of darkness must bow. There are many of us that need to stand and say, wherever I go, the presence of God is there. And because the presence of God is there, there must be order in that place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He's able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He's able more than able to handle everything that comes my way is able more than I could ever dream he is able he is more than able he's able to make me what he wants me to do now look up I want to show you a very powerful key for years I prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity and I found out that these people were not just healed. There were others that were healed. God was seen breakthrough here and there but there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow. Every time I was praying for the people, I felt helpless myself. You know there's a way you can pray for somebody, you know that nothing really happened. It's just that if you want to lie to yourself. There's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody. 
at the end of the prayer, even the person is looking at you, you know that nothing really happened. That was the situation. And many preachers can get comfortable and say, after all, I'm doing well. There are ministerial doors opening. But I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what is wrong? I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute. One minute. Hallelujah. I was in a crusade ground when I watched Reinhard Bonke with my own eyes. I was there for six hours. I helped to carry some of the people who were sick because I said I must get this anointing. He casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking, waiting for a command. And this guy jokingly, without sweating, blind eyes be open deaf ears be open cripples walk i saw it it's not that they told me somebody we willed i saw this thing they were lifting the person everybody was trying to touch the person to stand up i joined with my hand i said whether i'm contributing to it or not and this guy stood up and began to walk brothers and sisters it's not that i've never seen cripples walk but let me tell you there is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself. Hallelujah. I saw blind eyes open. I saw a lot of things happen. I said, Lord, something is not fair in this equation. And whatever it is, I will go and find out. How can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open command ears to open and the devil is helpless at his command and i'm here sweating over certain issues and they are just not working that means the problem is not from god the problem is certainly from our end here and i went and i began to explore god wants to answer somebody's question right now i want to show you a powerful mystery never forget it Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 16. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As you open it, just pray in tongues. Arise, shine. Your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is what will happen to somebody this night. You will arise. Your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You will arise. Your light is come. Tonight God will show you a key. Glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Prophesy to yourself one more time. I will arise. My light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Sing it one more time. I will arise and shine. Arise. The glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Matthew 16. Jesus showed us something powerful. A mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous. Please don't trivialize what you are about to hear. Let the eyes of someone be open, my God. Let the eyes of someone be open. Hallelujah. Listen. Now look up, please. Verse 13. Sida marataka shila makuratakaria. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, listen. Jesus had been walking with his disciples. Let me have two or three disciples. I am Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus, follow me. Jesus went everywhere with these people. Is that true?
they watched him demonstrate miracles they saw a lot of things these guys were amazed they saw the sea the waves they saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of jesus and jesus said gentlemen i always hear you conversing he said who do men say that i am they see this mighty man doing miracles and i'm sure they have been talking some have said he's fake some have said this guy may be one belzebub somewhere he said who do they say i am and the disciples were happy verse 14. the bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves and they said some say you are john the baptist why because john the baptist had been caught in the prison and they didn't see him some say you are john the baptist some say you are elijah because the bible says before the great and terrible day of the lord malachi 4 elijah the spirit of prophecy will come so you are that manifestation of elijah and others said jeremiah the weeping prophet who wrote a lot about the lamentations of of the spirit of god he said oh you are just one of the prophets and then he laughed now follow me he said all right i have heard what they say you have walked with me you have seen me do miracles you participated what do you say that i am okay they say i'm a prophet fine they are wrong but you you saw the miracle they said it was fake but you you were in koinonia you saw the demons you saw them being casted out it's not something that you watch on tv that you say it was he said in light of all that you have seen what is your conclusion about me he said what do you say that i am listen and simon peter answered and said thou art christ the son of the living god next verse and jesus said unto him hmm, blessed art thou simon Barjona, son of jonah he said for flesh and blood has that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood if you ever want to walk in it flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result he said this revelation you've had now it is not by flesh and blood are you getting me flesh and blood has not revealed it to you he said but my father which is in heaven listen peter you know why jesus asked them jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of christ verse 18 he said and i say unto you thou art peter listen and upon this rock what rock the rock of the revelation you just caught what is the revelation the revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity upon that revelation i will build the structure of my church that means for every time you will perform any activity there must be a revelation that you build upon otherwise the activity will just be normal are you getting this revelation in other words listen I can lay hands but the realm of the spirit will check what revelation do i know that activates the power over this activity if there is no revelation power will not flow it's a law in the spirit peter i see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding it is upon this understanding I will build my church to function that means whatever they have to do they will first build on a rock a revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out communion without revelation powerless anointing without revelation powerless so I can lay hands I tell you I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in a very mighty way Zekete rata man protoso beka areke talata poka reposo to bariata. He said, "I will build my church upon a revelation." When you get this revelation, you will step into a realm where you become an envoy. 
Listen. Listen. Listen to me. The Bible says a time came when Peter, James, and John, who became the pillars of the church, they went with Jesus. Is that true? To the Mount of Transfiguration. And the Bible says, listen, we were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture. The Bible says they brought an epileptic patient. Everybody watch, come, sir. They brought an epileptic patient. Now it was the turn of the disciples to heal. Is that true? The Bible says they kept doing everything that Jesus did exactly, but nothing happened. Is that in your Bible? They did exactly. They saw Jesus doing everything. They did it. The guy didn't get healed. And when Jesus came down with three of the disciples, he saw his disciples struggling. That was what grieved his heart. He said, until now, because he knew it was a law, it would have happened without him anyway. And the Bible says, he looked at the boy. He says, since when did he have this condition? And they said, since he was a child, he throws him into the fire, throws him into whatever. And he said, I believe, help thou my unbelief, the father said. And the Bible says, Jesus rebuked a deaf and dumb spirit out of him. And the Bible says, the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead. People thought he was dead and they picked him up and he got up, he was sound. The disciple said, in one minute, we did the same thing. What did you do differently? Is it not the rebuking? We also rebuked. We rebuked him. We were tired. Power did not flow. I'm showing you the key. Why you have not been seeing the move of God. It's not about cramming the words I use. You will say the same thing and not see anything. There is a secret. Hallelujah. Many people think it's about talking like the man of God or dressing like the man of God or reciting what the man of God is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters when Jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met Jesus listen the disciples say ah, why couldn't we cast out see when you are studying your Bible when you see Jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and Jesus said, because of your unbelief, very simple like that, because of your unbelief. Then he says, however, this kind goeth not, but by fasting and prayer, hold on. So he told them the problem was unbelief. And he told them to remedy unbelief. Part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer. When you fast and pray, something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe. Listen, just follow me. I want to establish something very, very powerfully. When Jesus did that, listen, a time came when Jesus now said, All right, guys, I have tested you a while. He said, Go in my name. Go not everywhere but to the lost sheep of Israel. Go two by two. Listen, now it was their turn. The Bible says they went. They were all fidgeting. And they now looked at somebody and said, in Jesus' name. Suddenly, they saw the demon obey. They said, ah, this thing is working. Oh. They tried it again. They saw that it worked. They didn't even know what was happening. And the Bible says they returned rejoicing and said, finally, even they said, even the demons were subject to us in thy name. Jesus said, uh-uh, you have not gotten the point. Don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you. Rejoice because your name is, you know, is written in heaven and so on and so forth. And then a time came, listen, Jesus said, as my father has sent me, he said, so send I you. Hold on. It's not just saying nature. There was a way I walked in the earth. There was something that made those miracles to happen. He said, now I speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles. That means, listen please, for every time 
you carry out a spiritual activity and it works let me tell you what happens in the spirit there is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross checks whether you understand what you were doing or not if there is no revelation that backs that activity power will not flow are you getting my point the sons of skiva they call that man they say we adore you the demon said not so i am seeing you in the spirit your house is built on sand where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon i do not see any revelation for that reason i will not go listen brothers and sisters do you know the power of this communion that we take people just take communion oh he's blessed and we take and nothing happens but the day you step into the revelation of what it can do the power of god will change that communion to the literal blood and body of jesus christ and it will answer in your body at once there are many christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation and the bible told us about those people it said there were two people that built one built on a revelation a rock is that true another built on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many christians is, is not working they humiliate themselves pray for hours and wonder why things don't happen what rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon what is the revelation that granted you access based on what did you prophesy to that brother and say in the name of jesus doors open what was the rock that supported that prophecy hallelujah when david was about to defeat goliath he knew that he cannot make empty noise and he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name there is a name i know there is a covenant i have there is a revelation david and goliath on account of my covenant with jehovah i will take off your head and i know the power will flow and god said that is it you have gotten the equation now you bring out the sling how can an ordinary sling kill a man a revelation produce power envoys of power this is why you see all these things that are happening happening it will happen every time forever it's like a switch when you know how to turn it on you become an infant of fire so you enter anywhere you are an envoy you know how to compel powers to bow you know what to say to make them answer you you know what to say to make them leave you know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness There is something you must know there are many preachers who preach they listen to a man of god's revelation they copied it and they are pasting it they preach a message that is supposed to bring healing but healing does not happen they preach a message that should bring breakthrough but breakthrough does not happen take your place take your place Take your place, 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 take your place.
Call his name, Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. When I caught this revelation, I was excited. And the first time we had the opportunity to organize our crusade as a ministry, it was now the time to put this in practical proof. Hallelujah. And in that crusade ground, there were sick people. There were all kinds of oppressed people. And when we began to see the power and the glory of God, I said this thing works it's not a lie the fault is not from God there is a fountain you can become a walking dispenser of the kingdom a dispenser of power when men shake you something will happen in your life because you are full of the word for everything there is a revelation even when you shake people you know that you are a blessing so that revelation will force something to get into them this may be the missing link behind your praying for the sick you have laid hands but you are just copying light has not come upon you there is no unction that supports what you are doing Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. of your soul shall follow them not him them them a congregation a people who believe god enough to know that he's not playing when he says all power belongs to him he means it
you are going to pray i like you to pray and say lord do something in my spirit that will cause light to enter me i want to begin to see fruits come on now pray Koinonia, this is not how you pray. I want to see prayer warriors. I want to see men of prayer. Jesus, come out of God's people right now. Come out, come out, come out now. Every force, every yoke, every spell, inside and outside, I challenge you. Go, 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 I command you every yoke that has tied you down, every yoke that has tied your family down, every curse, every protection, pray, 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 there is power when you pray. There is fire when you pray. I command powers bow in the name of Jesus and Koinonia destinies are changed and Koinonia eyes are and voice of power, and voice of grace, men of dexterity, men of authority, men of audacity, confronting grace, confronting territory, without fear. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to pray for you. What many of us need is an unction from the Lord that will suddenly make the things you read become alive. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of revelation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it inside and outside with all your heart. It's time for you to begin to walk as an ambassador. 
hallelujah i'm going to count three and at the count of three i like you to shout the name jesus and as you shout something will come upon your life are you ready one two three take it 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 receive it the spirit of revelation outside take it outside let it come like fire eyes be open yes be open let the spirit of faith come upon you take it faith to believe faith to believe faith to believe command miracles let blind eyes be open let deaf ears be open through your hands whoever you bless is blessed whoever you bless is blessed when you speak your words are backed up by an authority that is not of this realm your voice will be like the voice of God your voice will be like the voice of God whatever you stop will stop whatever you stop will stop whatever you bind is bound whatever you lose is loose and voice of his presence I pray for you from today let the manifest presence of God let the angel of his presence begin to walk with you that everywhere you go you don't need to tell men you are anointed there is an angel of his presence that will go with you sinners will break down when they see you devils will cry out without you casting them i proclaim upon you from tonight you become an envoy of power an envoy of his presence an envoy of his glory under the apostolic unction i command as touching the grace given to me if i be sent of god let this mantle fall on as many people ma teke teke bakata sekete leka barakata and voice of power and voice of power and voice of miracles and voice of wisdom and voice of breakthrough go and command breakthrough go and release your family members the cause that has kept them go as a savior go and command marriages go and heal the body let the body be healed go and raise the dead go and raise the dead go and cast out devils prophesy business breakthrough to people prophesy career breakthrough your words carry power your hands carry power here at koinonia i stand as an apostle of god and i proclaim my god the same power that backs me let it back your people the same authority that backs me let it back your people Your 
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. The journey of my life, listen to me, please, has been a journey of progressive walk with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me, please. Exactly a month ago, hear me. I was sleeping and the spirit of God woke me. He said, it's time for you to step into a new face of the anointing and a new face. I always see it. I see a military man in the spirit and then a batch is added. And the Lord says, there are many more responsibilities and there is an anointing. And I prayed, I said, Lord, you cannot just be empowering me alone. Your people need to walk in this kingdom power and all through the Lord had been brewing it in my heart and the Lord kept telling me it is my desire let your people believe me enough Moses said I desire that my spirit will even come upon everybody my greatest desire is not to be one invincible man of God no but that there will be people and you are these people to spread across hallelujah and from the time the spirit of the Lord told me this I knew that he increased the anointing upon my spirit and he measured a thousand cubits you can know you can see a man that walks with God and say this is different something has changed a thousand cubits and this is why whenever I receive it, I make sure that everybody is a partaker of it. If you don't walk with it, it is not my fault. But in the days to come as we prepare for next year, you will see things that will surprise you. When you are faithful with the level of grace that God gives unto you, and you are diligent, you will know and everybody around you will know when something a thousand cubit has been measured again and there is a rise this is why I worship him brothers and sisters don't get emotional about this meeting alone and don't get arrogant over the anointing you have received listen authority in the spirit is for you to go and be a blessing not to go and build an empire do not emulate these wrong things men of God try to bring to the body of Christ to make it look like there is one superstar let me tell you every one of us have been anointed and called whether in business whether in education these anointings are not just for healing the sick alone but opening people up to dimensions of the spirit and if you do not use this and you let it dormant, it will dry up in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray just one prayer point and we are going to round up. You are going to say, Lord, this anointing I have received, I want to see it working. I'm tired of receiving things and falling down and I cannot say this is what happened. Please pray. I beg you, my brothers and sisters, if you will pray this prayer from your heart. Say, Lord, bring a sick body to me. Bring an oppressed person to me, oh God. Bring a sinner my way. Let me put this unction and this revelation to work. Bring a family my way. Brothers and sisters, we are this generation that will help our families. There are many of our families, they went to school and they read books. 
They cannot explain what is happening with their lives. God brought you to this miracle service tonight. Can you say, Lord, maybe I'm the one that will stand in to end some things. It's not as difficult as you think. These are territorial powers sitting over families and they won't let you go. Some of you have written jam. Only God knows how many times. Wayek, they seize your result without any reason. Marriage. You are a beautiful girl. You've kept yourself. You love God. Any man that comes to marry you, something catastrophic will happen in his life. Do you know why? Satan wants to frustrate you, to make you think God is not mighty, so that you will resolve to go back to him. You go back to a herbalist and see if a husband will not come. Even if he's with frog jump, it will come. Because what the devil wants is not your lack of marriage. It's a union that is covenanted to him. Are you getting what I'm teaching you tonight? But we are that generation. We will say no. No compromise. We will break through the gates of the enemy. How many of us are ready to truly be free tonight? What you don't confront, you don't conquer, brothers and sisters. I confronted issues in my life. I took the word of God and I decided to cry for my life and my destiny. Otherwise, I would have remained a failure forever. Tonight, I want you to know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty to God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down every imagination. And every high thing. That has exalted itself above the knowledge of Christ. And bringing every thought. Every cancer. Every HIV. Every lack of progress. Tonight we are bringing it to the obedience of Christ. Now. Before I start ministering, I like you to pray in one minute and confront gates and say, I represent myself and my family. I come as an ambassador. Outside, make sure you participate. I come in as an ambassador. It's time to be released. It's time to be released. From the shackles of darkness. I'm breaking free, breaking out. Pray for the sake of your loved ones. Help your family. Pray for your destiny. Say, Lord, I now see the problem. It's not just cancer. It's not just HIV. It's not just poverty. It's a contention from hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. As I pray, the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way. Listen, I tell you, there will be a move of blood and fire. The Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed, why fire. To burn everything that has not been planted. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands. Mighty Jesus. 
father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of jesus and lord as i make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants i pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me i like you to shout the name the name of jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me help those under the anointing outside please shout kata daba kataya one two three four five six get ready now seven I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood bring them out I plead the blood yokes be broken I plead the blood let the blood speak let the blood speak shake a shake a Marekoto, let the blood speak. The blood opens every gate. Every gate. Paka papa rada bara rada rada rada. Seke te 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 te. Eke reke te ba. Masoto seka. Rapa katele ke te ba. Mambre po shote ni ba 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 ba. Eya ya 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 ya. Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout I am free at the count of three the moment you do that there will be a release of fire fire get ready at the count of three one two three shake up a rada ma poto so so ba rekete te kababa o salaba da kata laba kata rekete te ba the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, 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 it. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm.
Alleluia. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. See how many people are trying to hold one person. Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Now. You are going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave her now. Now. Out. Come out. Let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones. Let her go, devil of darkness. Leave her now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks. In the name of Jesus. of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus are the powers the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom see you must not come out here as it's happening to them realize it's happening to you hallelujah now anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you're standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth Please lift your hands because it's time for it to go. Turn her. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. 
the name of Jesus look at me right now this is a this is a mighty I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on our family but by the blood of Jesus Christ I adjure you by the blood of Jesus I see a big gate closed I open it now in the spirit many of you may not understand what is happening I open it I see a gate that is closed over that family I open it now all the chains on it let fire fall on them one of the horn terminal disease the other one delay the other one joblessness the other one lack of marriage I set it on fire as I see it in the spirit now now as it's happening to her it happens to you in the name of Jesus I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them and we're going to take testimonies hallelujah before pastor Jake comes up to minister I'm going to pray for you sick people lift your hands if you are tired of that growth just growth of all sorts you are tired if you are not tired you can put down your hand whether it's a lump, whether it's whatever it is. Hallelujah. Now, as I pray for you, the Lord is showing me two people. The power of God will come upon them. There are movements on your body. Movements. 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 And the Lord is showing me a mighty being something that looks like an alligator this is what i'm seeing the lord is just showing it to me two of you by the power of the holy ghost wherever these two are lord let your fire right now fall on those two the power of god will come mightily upon those two people whether you are inside or outside right now the power of god will come and the fire will form mightily. Please, when that happens, let's have the two people out. It's falling right now. It's falling right now. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. There's one more person left. So barakata. Shake That demonic movement. The fire of God locates you wherever you are right now. In the name of Jesus. Bring her. Come out. Come out of her now. Out. That devil of darkness. This is a big I'm seeing like a beast. It moves all around this woman's body. It's already forming pus, literal pus, around her breast region. A devil of darkness. Because this is supposed to cause stroke, partial paralysis. It will eat up everything. They will cut one breast and then all through the body. But right now, your time is up. Please take note the second person. The power of God is still going to fall on you. The Lord showed me two people. Right now in the name of Jesus, I release you. 
I release you. I release you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. This is a projection of darkness. The Lord shows me. Father, by your mercy, let the blood speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let the swelling go down. Let the pain dry up. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Outside, lift your hands. The one person is outside, just those outside. Outside, lift your hands. I like you to shout the name Jesus. The power of God will come upon that person. At the count of three. One, two, three. That fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. While they are getting the person, those with lumps, growths, lift your hands now. Thank you, Jesus. As I pray for you, start checking yourself. We'll take some instant testimonies. Already the Lord has showed me one lady, a lump on the left side of your breast. It just disappeared right now. Just disappeared right now. Lift your hands. Right now I command every lump, every growth, go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. I command it to shrink every growth in any part of your body right now. I command it to shrink in the name of Jesus. I command it to shrink in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to check yourself. Who is Musa? Musa. Musa. Please quickly, if I, if I call your case, hurry up, don't waste time. We're still expecting the person outside. The power of God will come upon the person. Just when that happens, let the person come. Musa, I'm hearing the name Musa. Who has the name Musa? Hallelujah. Please, when I mention your case, or any, you are Musa. What are you waiting for? You stand up. There's witchcraft in your family, and the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. Janet, Janet, Janet. The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. Is a brother, tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, listen. There is a lady. This is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen. Listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly. Please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You. Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No, well, no mic. Huh? That was last year and we didn't do this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. Sometimes maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? 
this is what we must destroy this night you your deliverance will start now praise God out come out of hand now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ come out out tonight is your night of liberty this lady see because I am seeing and while I stood the Lord was ministering to me and the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys him. this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of Jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah You brought the picture two pictures listen listen wait let me describe it before you come out you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures i mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the lord is ministering to me because there is i need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members Please, when we have that person come up, what are these people here for? Oh, I called you. Snake. I, I left her because we are going to deal with this. Janet, where's Janet? Who's Janet? Three of you are Janet. You are from Kogi State. Who is from Kogi? There is somebody from Kogi, Janet. Kogi State. Is it Kogi? I think Kogi is somebody. Please, the Lord is ministering to me. Let's save time because I don't want you to tie down somebody's. I want God to grant us grace to minister. Your name is Janet. Your mom's name is Janet. You are from Kogi State. Come. Because I see they want to kill your mother. Lift your hands. That Your mom's name is Janet. I will pray for you so that she will be free. Where, what's wrong with her we need to pray for her huh? because I'm first seeing sickness and then I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident we must pray for her the power of God will come upon you and it will touch her thank you Jesus Lord by your mercy right now let your power set him free my brother I break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the Holy Ghost Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in her family, come and stand here. God is going to visit the whole family now. Our family, if you are not part of our family, don't come here, please. If you are part of our family, just come and stand here quickly. Please, let's save time. Sister, look at me. Salvation has come to your life today. 
this your crying is over are you hearing me because this i must pray this lady's family she has suffered you will just see a lady standing like this that god will pick a lady out because this is i'm seeing hardship yes sir where are you from from Berry. what's your father doing now nothing what's your mother doing nothing look at this how did i know do i know her because this is a cause of hardship there's nothing that they do that will prosper but tonight in the name that is above all names salvation comes your family realize that as it's happening for one person it's happening to you too in the name of the lord jesus hold my hands do you know what i want you to do shout hold my hands shout jesus at the top of your voice can you do that jesus! family come power in the name of Jesus we are going to pray two things the Lord wants me to pray number one your mother will not be a widow are you hearing me we are going to pray we are going to break that power number two there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now is that true am I making sense there is a cause of delay hold your hands together oh you are an usher when I pray for you go and continue with your work praise God there is a cause of delay father in the name of Jesus you ask me to call this family out by the power of the Holy Ghost I release them from this devilish shackle of delay there is a power of God upon my hands I'm going to lay it upon you as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay delay be gone you especially delay I cause delay delay in school delay in everything I cause it in the name of Jesus and forgetfulness in the name of Jesus Christ come you where are you from Kaduna. you are from Kaduna I need to pray for you hmm? you are not feeling very fine hold my hands this is a devilish thing thank you Jesus release her right now by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah Stephanie 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 do we have anybody like that Stephanie that's the person bring the person in I mean that was the other one person remember our two people Break every chain. hallelujah we are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program hallelujah enough is enough praise God we are going to pray for jobs two ladies you and you two of you talking come out come yes God would locate you what makes you think God will forget about you run and come come and take your breakthrough there is power in the name of Jesus come and join them before you do your work see let me tell you something while she stood here she was praying and saying that the lord will locate her is that, is that what you are saying because i saw like a flash of light and i saw it written and this was what she was thinking and the lord said let her join and pray first hallelujah father in the name of jesus visit her family visit her family in 
the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together, two friends. Yoko came and we are just talking, looking through the window and doing a lot of things. God is going to visit you. Where is your mother? Go and tell her huh, that by next month, a big miracle is coming for her. Hmm? You know, when God tells me words like this, I'm very careful before you go and write an article on me. Now people can write all kinds of articles. Prediction incorrect. Three exclamation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold my hands. Let me pray for two. Hold. God is going to visit you. Look at me. You will be great ladies. I want to pray for you. The hand of God will come mightily upon you. Thank you, Father. Use them for your glory right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let their families be mighty. Let their lives be mighty. I separate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle, for sickness. Let me see your hands. Please, let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you are outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. No. Welfare. Please, please, don't come out wondering, will God heal me? Will God touch me? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship him. Just lead us. Powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, He can move the mountains. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesus. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the grave.
my blood sister. This thing has made me angry. This is my blood sister. Blood of my blood, bone of my bones. That devil is a bastard this night. This is my own blood sister. Same father, same mother. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my sister, this is my mother's baby. Bone of her bone, flesh of her flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sickness. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her. Forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sickness type for go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I do not fall sick, my sister will not fall sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection. Everything wrong with you be healed now. Hallelujah. Sorry I took it personal. The thing pained me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. He never. Hallelujah. Please, if you are holding a picture, just lift it up and we'll pray on it. Lift it up and we'll pray on it. Praise God. If you are holding someone's picture, just lift it up. We'll have the time when we'll pray on pictures. Hallelujah. It's raining. As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind of the spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear Let it roll Let it roll Open the Lord Let it roll
Hallelujah. Now listen. I want to specifically, you can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. You may have it come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it. For yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them. And tell them this is it. Yeah. 
give us a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Usher has coordinated them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up, just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While Apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me the intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will bring you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafi Ketale Brasso Pratelia Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell, the fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Ushers, please take note. Mark Repong, Shiketabiro, Vendelia, Rababandaya, Riano, Rababababela, Galabosana, Riatapong, Rateketelia, Bakitong, Shiketabira, Tose, 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidegon Rapidon Zepregila Lingon Rapidata Chakraton Rebaloske Baliro Koto Barada Bacate Gosu Parada Leboche Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of egos. The Bible is the amount of with wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you are so high you are so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
that you wings of eagle. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people, blessed one, ha! Blessed one for those people, my God. Let the hand of God come upon you. Rando Koshi Pratila. Let the hand of God come upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Ushers, help me find those people. The hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. Wings. Wings in the spirit. Wings in the spirit. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto parikabo liberosi ila raba hasu pirati landa bakia ko shikse sufra nende man shakila baunjale. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si pretile brendo prati kadom branira vilazingo si pre vila ha. Help me find that guy and that lady outside I spoke about. Bariro su pretila dando rosike to branira kata viraranando sin radiata. of days oh, 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 oh. You are the ancient of oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah We're out of time We are going to pray Praise the Lord I was looking at my cute baby. This lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written, please, one minute quickly. Just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on request. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Satalabrati Shatilibrati Shatala. Yes, so me la da kada shilibra kada de shitala balashitala. Ragudi zibra dimi koko shita talabra kita shitalaba. Eya manu jibra lila badushi kalaba lo shita dila kata shatalaba. Raka bata 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 Let the spirit over 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 this request over Maya Satalaba. Rika tishibra dika laba do shitala. Let them be miracles, not an abracket. I say, let them be breakthrough, not a ship. Let the impossible become possible. Make up at a ship. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let doors open, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let them be possible. Let it possible become possible by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be creativity in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, my by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, let the enemies submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles, miracles. Testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles, let it happen now, miracles, let there be testimonies, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let that which is impossible with men become possible now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you very God. Bless the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus. It is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, miracles everywhere.
the Lord is going to do mighty things right now in this place it's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing hallelujah please brothers and sisters listen God will not bring you to this place to waste your time I told you all you need to do is to believe all you need to do is to believe hallelujah we are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place please I like you to believe I want you to shout amen I want you to believe it's time for breakthrough it's time for the limitations that tie people maritally job wise it's time for it to bow it's time for yokes to be destroyed and we'll also pray that there will be impartation some of you came to take fresh grace some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels some doors have just refused to open you have fasted you have prayed we have come tonight by the grace of god to supply grace hallelujah thank you jesus let me tell you something prophetic words are very very powerful hallelujah it's not about speaking it's about creating hallelujah the prophetic word of god does not just reveal your problem you already know what the problem is but creating solution hallelujah we're going to pray oh that you will believe brothers and sisters that you will believe that you will believe last miracle service a lady had two pressing requests one of it was to get a life partner for her it was becoming a serious issue the second was to get a job i sent the leaders the text the very next day after friday like this the next day somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough hallelujah pastor jakes began to speak about finances we're going to pray for that and for other issues are you ready to receive for your loved ones lift up your hands it does wonders in our midst I started seeing this since Tuesday I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound. To open the doors of prison to them that are bound. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening this night. I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. I call for
brought your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus receive it in Jesus name receive it now every marital chain over your life I open it and I break that chain now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for all those trusting God for job you have applied and applied you have done everything you know to do right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare those of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond I compel you in the name that is above all names open now open now open now federal government jobs oil company jobs bank jobs in the name of Jesus I release it to your life I release it to your life where you do not have helpers may my God step in for you may God step in for you may God step in for you receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason right now I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus every academic issue in this place whether admission issue whether graduation issue whether whatever issue service issue in the name that is above all names i pray right now for every academic darkness let there be light now 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 for those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish whether it's your undergraduate whether your masters whether your phd whatever i command the doors of of graduation to be open for you now whatever cause needs to be waived we waive it now we waive it now we waive it now whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night we compel them to let you go and for those who have been trusting God for service you are finished the name will come out your name will not be there in the mighty name of Jesus I pray right now may God move in a way no man can explain and may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward there are families that are tied down not as individuals as a family it will keep working for others but when it gets to your turn it stops tonight in the name that is above all names whatever has not been working in your family we move it now in the name of jesus whatever mountain 
we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, avarekata, masote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home, I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you. Something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Reposhotala on behalf of your family I set it on fire now I set it on fire now 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 hallelujah listen I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way because this poverty in families must be broken people have gotten into prostitution because of it there are people who think you are lazy they do not know that there are forces behind are you hearing what I'm saying lift your hands I will first pray for you 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 before your family forget about your family for one minute and pray for yourself if you don't need it just put down your hands but if you are tired at where you are and you are saying lord i'm not too young to be blessed lift your hands when i count three shout the name of jesus the power of god man if you fall like fire that cause my god i pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it, we cause it, we cause it, we cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies. Now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Hear me. There are many of you where you are now. You have the gift. You have the skill. You just need those who need what you have. You have it. You just need somebody. Hear me. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Hallelujah. Many of you after this meeting, I tell you on that God, they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life wherever they are except god is not god in this place i pray tonight by the power of the holy ghost i call them into your life receive their ministry receive their ministry receive their ministry Destiny help us. 
us wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death 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 lift your hands for you and your loved ones hear me the Bible says with long life it didn't say will I give you it said will I satisfy you you are supposed to be satisfied with it hallelujah and no devil should cut short your life I want to pray for you now every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer? He said, You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. That means something lifted it down. So that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. I pray for you. Whatever has put your head down, so that nobody will bless you this night. According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my proto kotosa, arise, hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does, prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you, anything that touches your hand fails no matter what it is from tonight that year comes to an end in the name of jesus that year comes to an end in the name of jesus that year comes to an end in the name of jesus hallelujah now i want to pray against habits look at me there are people dying of all kinds of habits from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things are you getting what i'm saying this is what gives satan access into the lives of many people doesn't matter how they pray for you doesn't matter how they they deliver you you will find yourself paul said that the things that i want to do I do not find myself doing them he said and the things that i don't want to do that's what i find myself doing it he said with my spirit i serve the lord but in my body i see another law working in my members and he said oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from this body of death i want to pray for you take this prayer very seriously because many of us after all the prayers and the deliverances we keep opening doors i want to pray for you it takes grace it's not about struggle listen say look at me if you want to use willpower to say i want to force myself not to sleep with this sister you are joking except you are not a man that god created many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in 
you see grace is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh? a baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest them. it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i cause you to your root in the name of jesus i cause you to your root in the name of jesus i cause you to your root in the name of jesus I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout and amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm sowing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know this guy was trusting god for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad 
are you getting what i'm saying and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you have struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life. Hallelujah. The sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough. We love miracles. But this passion for God is not there. We can run to God and come and make promises. Oh God, I will do X, Y, Z. But except your heart is with God, blessings will kill you are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us the day you see one million in your account with your eyes that day you will tell god wait till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away you will remember god again i want to pray for me i consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting and it's an impartation i want to release grace and fresh fire Please stand up everybody. Let's honor this prayer request. This is why some of you came, especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry. You cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way. You will struggle for nothing. It's what will make you angry with people. And it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power. There are pastors now running helter skelter, going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders. And God can give it freely. Our goal in this place, hear me, I've said it again and again, is not for us to have some superstar men of God trying to help some people. No, is to empower you and release you to go and do the works. Hallelujah. There are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and say lord my prayer life is dead there is even nothing there again there are some of you your word life is dead the last time you read your bible was during koinonia last week i'm going to pray for you there will be an impartation and i'm going to release spiritual gifts Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift. This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do, it is not there. Period. I 
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people I have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today I want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for God and your Christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted Jesus, let a fire of impartation. Your people need fire. They need power in their life. Right now at the count of three, there will be a release of mighty impartations. After the count of three, I'd like you to shout and receive goodness. The power of God will move in a mighty way. I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake at a Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life, inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Shake it, take 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 it, Whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a symbol. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing in the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire. So toto kaba. Rekete nekata. Ba proto shotaba la 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 la. Let the gift of prophecy, I command prophetic fountains at the count of three be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take. Take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take 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 it, take
Bible's prophecy dimensions of spiritual experiences. Gift of tongues, receive it. Interpretation of tongues, the working of miracles, the working of miracles, the mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs, blind eyes will be open, deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, then entrepreneurship and our kingdom financiers right now let it fall upon you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every request that you came here with whatever made you to leave your house and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles... Are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush. Come out as though it's a matter of life and death because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more count and we are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says, come unto me. All ye that are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. He's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes into your life, he truly brings peace. We are waiting for you quickly. Quickly, anybody. Appreciate them. They are still coming. God bless you. God bless you. This is why God brought you here. Hallelujah. Now, those of you in front, 
I congratulate you for coming to make this glorious decision. God bless you. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I want to pray for you. Mean it from the depths of your heart. Reciting it as a poem does not make you born again. But from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I confess my sins. I ask you to help me tonight. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. Forward ever. Backward never. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Function through me. Make me an ambassador of the kingdom. I denounce sin and Satan. Whatever is not of God cannot thrive in my life again. I am a true Christian. I am a child of God. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your power. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I pray that their experience will last in the name of Jesus. Receive these ones and make them mighty men. Secure their eternal destiny in Christ. And I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, I want you to follow the ushers. They will have your details and will follow you up tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Please listen. Tomorrow by 5 o'clock, we would like to see you at chapel, just close to the bookstand, chapel, ABU. Please try to come around. Hallelujah. Those who invited them, encourage them so that they can come. We we'll pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, and we'll follow you up. May God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.